here we are on a lovely Sunday uh, after a terrible Saturday morning. I mean, we set up and it wasn't supposed to rain. You know, you've heard this before, and uh, of course it dumped down on us. Uh, it was just horrible. So um, yeah, I just let anyone who wanted to stay stay, and those who wanted to go home go home. So six stayed out of forty something. Anyway, understandable. It was pretty bad. Anyway, look, today, beautiful sunny day. And um, for something different, what I'm going to do is go around the stalls and do a bit of uh, looking at what I think is a great display and why. And hopefully anyone that's interested will learn something and help them with their stall. So I look forward to doing that with you. Welcome to Manly Markets 2095. Manly is the first beach north of Sydney Harbour and can easily be reached by ferry, car or bus. My name is Mark and I've been running the Manly Markets for 10 years now and I have over 30 years retail experience in the surf industry, which has really helped me understand the markets business overall. Each week I'm going to show you all around our markets including how we run them, introduce our storeholders, show you around Manly and interview some locals along the way. Please subscribe and enjoy our weekly shows every Friday. As you know, I've been doing these markets for 10 years and prior to that, obviously, lots of years in the surf shop. So I've seen a lot of displays and, and talked to a lot of experts, uh, merchandisers. Uh, and there is a look that really you should go for and that is um, make sure that you've got a, a busy looking store. Fill it. Don't, you don't want to be empty, so you want to you want to have a nice look. And I always like to use the fruit bowl example. Uh, um, a fruit bowl full of fruit, everyone loves it, and everyone goes and grabs something. But if you just got one apple and one banana, no good. So same with stalls. Nice and full, nice and busy, colourful if you can, and yeah, make it look enticing. And I hate to say it, but it's called the IKEA effect. And um, why that is, because everyone who goes to IKEA feels like they have to buy something. And that's what you want your customers to feel like. You want them to feel like they should buy something. They're excited. And yeah, let's have a look at some stalls. So here we have um, Montana Moore's stall. And what I like about this stall is the signage she has. The product is well displayed, as you can see, spread out. These uh, tablecloths with your name on, uh, I just feel they're really good. They tell the story, people can walk up, they don't even have to say hello to you. But right away they're reading about you and getting to know you, with that, as I said before they even said hello. And then they feel obliged to uh, come in and have a look and uh, you can see it's working here. Another good example here is Lazi with their uh, scrunchies lots of good color but as you can see they've utilized all the space very enticing Can I help you, sir? <laughs> just admiring your great display Paul thank you very much sure. this is definitely the fruit bowl effect you can see just fully everything on display very enticing and what I love, signage. Once again, good signage, enticing, tells the story. If you can, hang your product up, decorate your gazebo. You can see all this colour and product on display just pulls people in. Another good store. Look at that. Nice and full, fruity. And a nice sign at the back. It's all there. Just look at that. Nice tablecloths. Gone for the black look, but it just makes the stock jump out. Very good store. And here we have the Turkish towel stand with Erhan. He's Turkish and he knows what markets in Turkey look like and he brings that authenticity here but you can once again see nice full stall only thing I would like to add to this stall is a nice sign but 
it works he's always busy same look nice and full another successful store holder good signage good product display nice white tablecloth to set up jewelry so another thing too is Dougie here he plants trees 10 trees with every sale and that's that's a nice added bonus a lot of people are getting into the eco and charitable additions to their stalls and it, and that's working too people are really more aware of this so think about that too and this is uh a cashmere scarf display a few scarves around the gazebo they flutter in the wind which is good and very busy during the winter months once again nice and full just very enticing this is a stall i really like the layout especially with clothing does it a bit differently if you can see the all the clothing is eye level it's so smart and people see and then they touch so everything's there and easy to touch easy, easy to see color blocked very important it just pulls people in when they see these sort of displays you put a bit of effort in you'll get a lot of sales once again nice sign at the front tells you what's going on what they do and look at that the stock to spare stock is neatly put away and doubles it as a desk really good thinking nice and tidy and you do clothing you must be tidy a lot of people are tidy freaks and when they come in if they see a tidy stall they're gonna buy from you and people who aren't tidy, well, they're not worried about it, are they? They still buy. So, yep, candles. How do you display candles? Well, like this. Once again, tidy works. Nice and neat. Good labelling. And once again, nice sign. Everything's nice in order. Good tablecloths. Once again, that's important. We've got historic photos, well displayed, once again up at eye line and nicely framed, so you're showing people what it would look like in your house. Easy to look at, there's nothing, make it easy. Make it easy, then it's easy for people to buy from you. Nice display, very easy to look at. All handmade by Peter. He really thinks about his displays and comes up with great ideas. And it's also easy, easy to wheel in and set up and easy to pack up. You can do all that and make it look good and then you're making life easy for yourself and you're going to get great sales. So sunglass displays. I'd have to say this is one of the best I've seen. Nice against the black backdrop, bright colours, good contrast. Once again, nice and neat. And good signs, lots of signage. If you can afford it, get your gazebo sign written as well. You can get them custom made. Take a lot of time to set up the store, but it's worth it. You're here to sell, so why not do your best job? and get the sales this lady does very well cindy okay here we have a small display but still effective stock on the table looks good stacked high watch it fly signage what the deal is what the, de uh, the product does and also showing you how it works great display very simple and of course social media right there black tablecloth works well 
just in an umbrella setup. He does the job. Well done. 10 out of 10. Once again, these tablecloths with your name on it. I reckon they're the go. And look at that. Product well displayed. Ideally, would love more sunlight to go through these beautiful stained glasses. But Ideally. still looks good. Not overcrowded for this type of product. Very well done. This is another good example of the fruit bowl effect. Nice and busy, but not too busy. Just suits this product, succulents. Nice display. That makes you want to buy. There you go, there's the sign. And then the bigger products are spaced out. Works well. More signage. More signage you can have people a story without having to talk to them. People like that. If they want to speak to you, they will. Make it easy. I know we've said this before, but the pull-up poster, very effective. Is it working since you got it? Yeah, yeah definitely. Uh, people know what I'm doing now. So. <laughs> <laughs> they come up to you, don't they? Because they've read it already. <laughs> Make it easy, that's the way. Here we go, this is a good example too. Signage. Colours, display is good. And samples, eh? Get to sample that great chocolate. Here's another good fruit bowl effect. Nice and colourful, display all around. Fill that gazebo up. That's what attracts people. Okay, I know you won't mind me saying it, but here is a good example of over trading in your site. It's in a 2.4 meter gazebo, definitely needs a three meter. And we're gonna get him there, aren't we, Lucas? But look, good signage. But just, just overcrowding can uh, really reap the benefits of a bigger gazebo so we'll get him there but still looks good great product easy to see another good candle display everything's neat and tidy in its place easy to see little signs little handwritten signs are good for markets products is out on display so you can see what it's like and stock is on display as well well done Ruth always do a good job nice clean white tablecloths I would like to see a Rusoy sign on this stall but you are oh, good that's right you do have one don't you there you go good stall holders have signage well done Good sunglass display. These are colourful sunglasses as you can see and he just puts them front and centre. So people from 20 metres away are going to see this stand. And what's featured the most is the product. That's what you want to do. Just feature the product. Not too much extra add-ons. Just make the product speak and uh, sales will come. Nice store. Another good art homeware store. Once again the products shouting out at you. There's nothing else cluttering up. Signage is there. Nice clean white tablecloths. Once again, before people get to the stand, they know what's going on. And if they're interested, they're definitely going to come over. This is another technique that works too, is the stack them high. Especially for hats. I mean, people like to get in there and just try them on. So it's a bit of a self-service approach which with hats works people just want to try them on you want to get people trying on as many as possible because that way they're going to buy as well so 
little bit of a jumbled look, but that really works. I mean, it suits markets. And uh, that's the end of Sunday. Really good day. Fantastic trading. Everyone's really happy. Uh, shit Saturday, but anyway, this great Sunday made up for it. And we will see you next week.